sometimes you just gotta create something cool. We're gonna be combining several lighting and energy effects together to create this really awesome light stroke animation that can be used for titles, logos, and other types of graphics. Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel from Sonic Film. Before we jump in the video, please be sure to drop a like on this video. It helps out our channel tremendously. And for those of you that are ready to create this awesome light stroke, let's jump in and let's get started. If you wish to follow along, you download project files for free, the links in the description. So in our main composition, all we're gonna have to start off with here is a title, there's no animation to it. And once you typed out your title, the first thing you're gonna do is right click it, go to create and click on create mask from text. This will create a solid layer with mask around your title. We'll come here to effect, generate, and we're gonna grab the stroke effect. We'll check on all mask and uncheck stroke sequentially. We'll change the paint style from unoriginal to on transparent. We'll set the end percent down to 0%, add a keyframe for end. We'll move forward in time maybe to three seconds and set the end percent up to 100%. And this will give us a beautiful stroke animation. Now that our masks are created, all we're gonna do is hit M on keyboard to see all the mask paths in here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna copy the first letter, which is letter L in my case, so copy mask path. And I'm going here to layer new null object. And I'm simply gonna hit P on my keyboard for position, select position and paste in that data. And we're automatically gonna get these keyframes. And I can grab the last keyframe and move it over in time to adjust it to a three second mark. So what's gonna happen here is that this null object is gonna follow the animation of our letter. So then what we need to do is come here to layer, new, solid, we'll call it flare, and click OK. We'll come here to effect, generate, and we'll grab the lens flare effect. We can come here to lens type and change it to a 35 or a 105 prime. I'm gonna do 105 for this. And we'll come here to the flare brightness and bring this down. Another thing we need to do is make sure we set the blend mode as layer to screen. And simply what we're gonna do is alt click the stopwatch for flare center. And we're going to grab that pick whip for the flare center and parent it to the position of our null object. So this lens flare is now gonna follow the animation of our letter. So what we need to do is make this lens flare look a lot better. What we'll do is we'll alt click stopwatch for flare brightness and we'll type in wiggle, open parenthesis one comma 100, close parenthesis, this will give it a flickering effect and it's gonna look pretty cool. You might need to lower down the flare brightness if this lens flare is just way too much. Another thing we'll do is come here to effect, color correction and grab curves. We can use the curves effect to change the color of our lens flare. So we come here to the red channel and I pull down the reds. I'll make it a little bit more on the greenish side. I'll come to the green channel, pull that down, and let's give it more of a blue sort of look. So you can play with the three channels here and figure out what color will look best for your project. Now, depending on your word or whatever you're using, you're gonna have to repeat this lens flare and null object process for every single mask that you have. So if you're following along, go ahead and pause the video and repeat this process for the rest of the letters that we have. So I went ahead and duplicate our lens flare and attach it to each letter and you can have a reveal animation like this if you follow each of those steps. For those of you that actually want to create some level of energy to your title, well, we're going to use a free plugin here called Saber. I'll link it in the description below if you don't have it. So we'll go ahead and create ourselves a new solid and we'll make sure this layer is on top of everything. We'll come here to Effect, Video Copilot, Saber. It's free. The first thing we'll do is come here to Customize Core, set it from Saber, the core type, to a text layer and then set the text layer to your actual text layer, which is here at the bottom. And this will take the shape of our title. It looks terrible right now. We'll come into the preset here at the top and we'll set it from select to energize. And you can experiment with different you know, presets as well. We'll change the color from yellow to maybe like a nice blue color. And then we'll come into the beginning of our timeline and we'll just animate this in. To animate it in, what we're gonna do is set the end offset right here from the customized core to 0%. We'll add a keyframe for that. Move forward to exactly three seconds and set up to 100%. So simply, we'll just have the stroke animation, but it's on the saber. So one thing you may notice, we lost our lens flares. What we need to do is take our energy you know, layer here, set the blend mode to screen, and I'll add our lens flares back in there. And you also might want to hide your stroke version of the outline of your title or logo. So one setting I like us to adjust is the flicker setting. So come here to flicker intensity, set it up to 500%, and then the flicker speed down to two, and check on mass random here. All right, so here's what we have so far with all of our animations. And you know, it's a good start, but it's not really where it needs to be. But before we move on, if you're looking to save time while producing awesome work, we have over 15,000 templates for you to use in After Effects and Premiere Pro. With the Motion Duck extension, you can preview, apply, and modify any of the templates within a few clicks. Be sure to check our links in the description below to take a look at all the template packs that we have. And of course, you can download our free After Effects and Premiere Pro packs as well. Those links are in the description below. So we're gonna implement some compositing techniques to really take this to the next level. 
So let's go ahead and take all the layers that we have here. Let's go to layer pre-compose. We can call it effects done. We'll come here to the top, come here to layer, new adjustment layer. Go to effect, noise and grain. We'll just add some quick noise to this. 4% is good for this scene. Uncheck use color noise. Go to effect, color correction and add curves. And we're simply gonna come here to the bottom point and just drag this inward here to the right to darken down the scene. So here's a before and an after, a big difference on our mood. Another thing I wanna add is a floor reflection. It's super easy to create this. You may need to download a project file to get this floor element, but you can search up any sort of like wall texture or something grungy like this. So we'll go ahead and bring this uh, image into our composition. I'll solo it for right now. And we'll toggle switch to modes, make this a 3D layer, hit R on keyboard for rotation, set the X rotation to 90 degrees. We'll hit P on keyboard for position, bring it down. And we may need to hit S on keyboard for scale and just scale this up so we don't have any black space here at the bottom of our comp. So this should be okay. And then what we'll do is take this floor layer, pre-compose it, we'll call it floor, move all attributes in the new comp, click okay. And we'll go ahead and hide this layer. Okay, and one thing we need to make sure we do is make sure that the effects done layer blend mode is set from normal to screen. And then we can duplicate this layer, go to edit, duplicate, grab the bottom layer, we'll bring this downward, come here to layer, transform, flip vertical, and then we'll go ahead and create ourselves another adjustment layer. Bring this adjustment layer between the two effects done compositions. Come here to effect, blur and sharpen, and grab compound blur. And then for our compound blur, set the blur layer to our floor layer, and you can adjust the maximum blur and you're gonna get different types of looks. So feel free to adjust the maximum blur as you see fit. But one thing I wanna do here is grab our bottom effects done layer, grab the rectangle tool here at the top and just draw a mask around our title like this. And then we'll just hit F on keyboard for mask feather and just feather this maybe up to like a hundred or so. So now we have this beautiful floor reflection in our composition. So there's two more effects I wanna apply to this overall composition that's gonna really help take us to the next level. Go ahead and create ourselves another adjustment layer. Go to effect, color correction, brightness and contrast. We'll alt click the stopwatch for brightness and we'll just do like a wiggle open parenthesis like 2 comma 50 close parenthesis and this will add an overall flicker to the entire composition it's gonna make a huge difference as well we'll go ahead and create one more adjustment layer we'll go to effect distort we'll grab optics compensation and then also effect distort and we'll grab cc lens we'll set our field of view on the optics compensation up to 40 check on reverse lens distortion and set the size for the CC lens to 120. Ten, you know, maybe we'll actually decrease the size down to maybe like 110, and you're gonna get this nice side warping view on this comp, and it just looks beautiful. So if you've been following along, you're gonna have this really cool composition of all these nice effects coming together to create something pretty cool. If you're new to our YouTube channel, Sunduck Film, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. We post multiple post-production motion graphic tutorials like this every single week, and always be creative.